it is time to go above and beyond and record Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 5. Uh, it was just released, and I completely forgot about it being released. Again, happened to see somebody else mention it on Twitter. So, hurried up, downloaded it, and we're ready to go. Uh, I got me a drink because I got a sore throat. Um, it's a yogurt drink. It's not very thirst quenching. But I'm hoping it lubricates me so I can um, finish this without having to croak my way through it. But let's go ahead and get started. Enough chit chat. All right. Hopefully, it gives a recap. Get us caught up. Previously on Minecraft there Story Mode. There we go. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, <sighs> such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. <sighs> and now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. He's a ninja. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> all right, so I think we're all caught up now. It wasn't really that long ago since I played the last episode. This one seemed to come out pretty quick. Plus, I was late with the last episode. Didn't help. Are we still under the bedrock? Or we had just got out from under the bedrock? Man, lucky thing that the admin didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Oh. Speaking of fighting admins. I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... Well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heck mouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Hey, no one is going to end up like Fred. But how do you know? Fred didn't know just how bad Romeo was, so he underestimated him. We can learn from the people who came before us. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, how many of these speeches does Jesse got to give to get these Let's people to do just it. fight? <laughs> My, that was loud. Here we go. Yeah, I definitely should have got something else to drink aside from this yogurt drink. This is not quenching my thirst at all. No! Mm. Uh, 
This is Beacon Town. I think it looks better. Oh, see, and the golem looks pretty cool. Gotta say, kind of like what the admin's done. want to bet that's where the primary terminal is the giant floating tower with no clear entrance yeah probably we've got to find a way up there might be a good idea to hit the map shop regroup get some supplies yeah yeah that sounds good Okay, I was trying to turn, it wouldn't let me, so. Guys, admin. And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all! It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! My? No! still a chance of redeeming Romeo. No, I'm not so sure. Champion City. He blew it up. Just to make a point. Yeah, he's a monster through and through. And he needs to be put down. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now? One less thing to Psst. Olivia, Axel. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I, what is? Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. the hell's at the map shop that's gonna be all that important? You need to find a fucking armory. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean... With what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... Yeah. But... You said there's a way to stop this guy, right? 
Petra. Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Ugh, that'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. So they just make a potato gun and they're set, right? Come on, hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's been ransacked once. Whoever did that might come back again. <laughs> Comforting. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. Hold on, I want to go talk to the guys, too. Let's talk to Jack. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. I'm just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what... I, uh, Hey, it's just stuff, right? You can replace it. I guess that's true. Some of it was pretty valuable, irreplaceable stuff, though. Kind of like part of my identity. Yeah, I, I know how that feels. Yeah, I suppose you do. Huh. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. How come when we're always looking around for stuff, they never find shit? Hey, Nerm, you doing okay? You still pissed at me? Well, hang in there, okay? We're gonna make this right. I don't think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, Binta, adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Alright, are you gonna be a bitch this episode? Because... You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know, but... Seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Can I kill that bird that is up there? I think he's a spy. Not a Russian spy, though, but just a spy. like the admin's looters were thorough. There's nothing here. Well, I appreciate them having me open that chest. There being absolutely nothing in it. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... 
He's just been missing. Kind of went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh... We heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No. The guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We'll be here. Keeping an eye out. <laughs> yeah, not that that voice actor's bad, but they should have kept their original. Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Should have killed the bird, I'm telling you. Oh, I have to go inspect? Okay. Thanks, guys. I'll do all the dangerous shit. Uh, Luna, what? You made it! <laughs> I never doubted it! <laughs> well, I guess I deserve that. So how the hell did the what? llama get how out? How did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out! The ninja! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing? Hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you! Oh, oh my oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you know who that is? That is Ivor. Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend. Standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor? Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. <laughs> and you are? Oh, me? Oh, I'm uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the, I'm, uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello. Always nice to meet a fan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. Fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about me killing you? Big hit! You really know your audience. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. I was surprised, but this animal is quite the escape artist. I may consider naming her my apprentice, though she will need a mask. Luna, you saved us all. You really are a hero. <laughs> now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. You know about the terminal? What does it actually do? No idea! But <laughs> you, the other you, spends a great deal of time within it. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talking out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but 
Elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Stage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows where we are. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can't, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets, because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to try to get a new video up every day of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 5, until I'm completely done with the episode. And I've already got two bonus videos I'm going to edit and throw together this week, and there's a video uploaded already scheduled to release on Christmas Day. So you can get a video every single day this week, all the way up through Christmas. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Click here if you want to watch another recent video.